As an enterprise business, you might want to scrape real estate listings. In this video, we'll show you how to scrape Redfin listings using Parcel, our free visual web scraping tool. Redfin is a leading real estate company providing searches and brokerage services. Their website and app allows users to buy and sell real estate. Some of the features Redfin provides are Redfin Estimate, Book It Now, and 3D Walkthrough. As with any other real estate directory, there's a lot of data you can scrape from each listing or real estate agent. To begin this tutorial, we recommend you register to Parcel for free and download the application for your Windows, Mac, or Linux system. Starting your scraping project. To begin, make sure you have registered your free Parsup account and have logged into the application. Now you should be logged into Parsup and can click the new project button on the screen. In the URL field on the left pane, you can add any Redfin URL you want to scrape from. We will be scraping active New York listings using this URL. The Redfin website will now load on the embedded browser on the right. Selecting properties. To make your first selection, click the first property address. To train the Parsup algorithm, click the next property's address. You will now see 11 listings in the data preview. Scroll down to the 12th listing and click that listing as well. Finally, you should see all 40 properties on the page to be selected. Rename the selection on the left to property. Extracting additional property data. Now that you have extracted all the properties on the first page, it's time to go into each property's detailed page. This will allow us to extract additional property information such as the listing price, the MLS number, and more. Firstly, click the plus icon next to your property selection you made earlier. Choose the click command so Parsup clicks into each property. A pop-up will now appear. Choose no as we're not clicking the next page button yet. Create a new template called property data and click the green create new template button. You will now be taken into the first property's detailed page. Click the price to make your first selection on this page and rename the selection on the left to price. Once again, click the plus icon next to the page tab and choose select. Now click the home system description and rename this selection on the left to description. You can repeat these steps for other property data such as the MLS number, the amount of bedrooms, and the square footage. Scraping multiple pages. To scrape more than 40 listings, which requires us to visit the next pages, we need to add pagination to Parsup. Pagination allows Parsup to click the next page button on Redfin and repeat the scraping process for the next set of properties. To begin pagination, click the plus button next to the page tab and choose select. Scroll down until you see the pagination right arrow and click it. Rename this selection to pagination on the left pane. Click the expand icon next to the pagination selection and delete the extraction as it adds unwanted columns to your data. Now you could click the plus button next to your pagination selection and choose click. A pop-up will appear asking if this is the next page button again. Choose yes this time. You can now enter the additional amount of pages you want to scrape. If left at zero, it will scrape every single page available. We will put the number two, so three pages will be scraped in total. Bypassing IP blocks. Many websites that host large amounts of data have systems in place to prevent scraping. Redfin will give you an empty result if you scrape your website without IP rotation. Note that IP rotation is a paid parse up feature. Here's how to enable IP rotation. Firstly, click the cog icon at the top left of the screen and click settings. Under the settings, you'll see rotate IP addresses. Click this checkbox to enable IP rotation. You are now ready to scrape Redfin without blocks. Starting your scrape. Now that you have your selects, additional property data, and pagination setup, it's time to scrape. To begin your scrape, click the green get data button on the left pane. Parsup allows you to test, run, or schedule your scrape. In our case, we'll be scraping once, so we'll choose run. You can definitely run the scrape on a schedule to get updated properties on a reoccurring basis. Excellent job! Parsup will now scrape Redfin listings on its servers. Once the scrape is complete, you'll be able to download the data as a CSV for a spreadsheet or JSON for applications. Final thoughts. Real estate is a lucrative industry and scraping property data can be very useful. Whether you're running analysis or finding real estate agents to contact, real estate scraping can be a game changer for your enterprise business. We hope you enjoyed this video tutorial on scraping Redfin listings. Make sure to like and subscribe for more web scraping tips. If you're interested in enterprise web scraping and data extraction, book a call with us and get our free sample data export. The link is in the description below. Happy scraping!